Right, let's see what's in this place then. So this is the uh, the top floor. Got three apartments on the top floor to look through. Laundry day by the looks of it. We have a handbag and some boots. Okay. Cucumbers, it's all about cucumbers, isn't it? Let's turn this off. Crime stars. Okay. Why are these people so lazy? Why don't they put their weight plates away? So lazy. Kaboom! One day you wake up and you realise you're Australian. Yeah, that's how it would feel. Kaboom. Who's this there? Is that... Are they the Diwali? Okay, not much going on here. Drugs and some mail. Abraham... It's... Uh, I think that's how you pronounce that. No need to go this way. We've got to get down to there and then head in two directions, okay. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Not on the first one. Not on the first one. Thank you. Much better. Anomaly detected. There we are. Age. We've got ages for that one to get round. Right, this is from Erkel and Abram. Uh, Erkel says, Jesus, I can see why the clans love this neon shit so much. This isn't neon kill clanks. Took some. Wow. Don't go broadcasting it to anyone else, yeah? Saw my cousin last night. Had a really nice conversation with him. That's a, an abrupt change of topic. Stefan. Hmm, yeah, Stefan is dead. Ah, uh, right, it's not a conversation change. He's talking about the experience he had on Neon. Uh, yeah, Stefan's been, ten been dead for six years. He looks great, according to Erkel. If it gets back to Otar that you're using, you'll be strung up. I don't answer to Otar. I'm not one of his casino boys. Yeah, it was Otar we saw in the casino. Otar is still number two around here. You got to respect that. It's okay to sling this shit, but not okay to enjoy it from time to time. Right. The valley distribute neon, but they don't use it. We can't pollute ourselves with drugs like the clanks do. It's the old way, Erkel. Otar and his fucking traditional bullshit. I'm new school. Radich is new school. He's taking the organization in the right direction. What side are you on? I don't take sides. I find you live longer when you don't pick. Right. Chernbog is the name of the uh, conflict between the two of them. So Otar is number two. Otar is old school. Radich is a new guy. Radich is new school. Okay. Interesting. We're getting a little bit of uh, politics here. It's nice. Okay, three apartments. We can just walk out here in front of this camera. There's no one around. No one around to come after us. It's a long way. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. I think we have enough time. Yeah. Access granted. A temporary separation of the classes. So we can clear the air and reevaluate how we can coexist peacefully. 
So the sentiment that it is being enacted as a form of subjugation is false then, Doctor? Unequivocally false. The goal of the legislation is to ensure that they are as safe from us as we are from them. I am not augmented, but I have many friends who are. And most of them are afraid to walk outside of their homes right now, because if they do, the level of hatred and suspicion aimed at them, it's horrifying. They want to feel safe again, and the Human Restoration Act can give them that. Well, there you have it, folks. It sounds like UN Resolution 3507 may be the solution the world is looking for. Thank you, Dr. Christensen, for your honest and insightful perspective. This is a... So segregation is there to keep people safe, is what they're saying. Borderline Magazine, uh, exclusive this month, cross-border cogs. We examine the rise of human smuggling, human in inverted commas, holy crap, in the face of UN legislation controlling the movement of enhanced individuals. What are the effects of illegal AUG immigrants and how do we stop them? Um, right. What are the effects of illegal AUG immigrants? Are they illegal because they're AUGs? Or are they illegal because they've um, entered the country and you know, without going through the proper protocol. Tight along the 49th, in rhetoric recalling the pre roosevelt years, Canada threatened to dust off the Paulson program and once again fortify their borders with the new S, the US. Uh, I don't know much about Canadian history. Uh, did they... Were they a lot more hostile towards the US? I don't, I don't know how Canada got formed as a country. I know very little about Canada. Suppose it formed at the same time as the US? I have, I have no idea. No idea. I never even thought about Canada. Sorry if anyone's Canadian. I'm sure you got a very rich interest in history. You know, of uh, what, about 300 years? You can call that history. Checkpoint Prague. We spend a day with one of the city's finest. Right, it's about cops. Regular features. Op-ed. Is it wrong to tack and track OGS if our safety is at risk? <laughs> yeah, take him down or take him out. Steiner Bisley Zenith Zap versus the Hurricane Machine Pistol by Stasiak Arms. Ah, right, it's a stun gun versus a, a uh, an actual gun. Plus many more illuminating articles, I bet. I bet. So... Where is this? Oh, I know where we are. Theater. I guess this here and this here are linked. These are just two different ways we could have gotten in here. Can we maybe check this place out? We'll go down that sewer and come out. Come out that one. Yeah, there's the theater. Are there many people around? Three. Ooh, a lot more than three. Oh, I want to get in that theater. We can hop along from balcony to balcony. That's the first entrance we saw. No, that's the way to the. That's the way to the. Uh, alleyway maybe even a back entrance into the Red Queen that's what I'm coming up to here straight in front this is the guarded entrance we saw earlier right there there's a lot of people wandering around down there I don't think I'm going to explore this part just yet Maybe get our business done in the Irish school. Oh, what is that? What is that? What did that do? Whoa! Ah, this is the security for the whole uh, apartment complex, isn't it? Let's get all these zeros first. Anomaly detected. 
trace program initiated. Access granted. Or they can even reach infected areas. So experts are working day and night, not only on aggressive treatments, but on new cures and methodologies okay. that will prevent deadly outbreaks from occurring at all. This is Eliza Kassan, reporting to you. Reporting to you live, wink. All right. Ooh, okay, that's pretty straightforward to get to that. Um, what's the quickest way to the data store? We have to go that way to the data store. We have to go that way to that data store. Okay, let's see what happens. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Uh, do you know what? That'll do. That'll do. Access granted. That'll do. Cameras. That's downstairs in the courtyard. Off. That's one of the stairwells. Off. Another stairwell. Off. Okay. Uh, trigger alarm. Nope. Alarm panels. Disable all alarm panels. Well, that would have been useful had we not already killed everyone. But hey, no one's perfect, right? So this PC will probably have some re some reference to that button over there to get into the security room, I would have thought. Gleb Shast lives, yeah. Anomaly detected. Trace program Come on, come on. There we are, let's just do that. Access granted. I'll do. Right, from Abrim Grenin. I fucked up. I killed one of the girls last night. I drank too much and brought one of them home from the audition. Hey, we've all been there. Not the cream, don't worry, just one of the ones Radich would have sent to his porno friends in Moscow. Ah, this is human trafficking, isn't it? Now, when I said when I said we've all been there, I I was not talking about human trafficking. I have not I've not been involved in that operation. What I was talking about was... No, this is not... Not killed one of the girls who have all been there. That's not what I was talking about. Let me clear my good name. I drank too much and brought one of them home. Let's leave out from the audition part. Because, again, that's not... That's not what I was talking about. All I was talking about was... Drank too much and brought one of them home. That's when I said we've all been there. That's what I meant. <laughs> that's, that's what I meant. Ah... Uh, <laughs> We're having a good time, a real good time, but then I don't know what happened. I guess I drank too much. I couldn't get it up. The robot bitch started fucking laughing, laughing at me, saying if I was crippled I could get augmented like her. Imagine that shit. She would not fucking stop, so I made her stop. I didn't mean for it to go so wrong, I just wanted her to stop laughing at me. The place is clean, I fixed it up this morning, no sign of her. I do not think anyone saw us leave together, but she might be missed. I do not know. I wouldn't want something like this to come to Radicchio's attention, what should I do? This is great. Oh, and when I say this is great, right, I'm not, I don't mean to say that killing people in this sort of situation is great. That's, that's not what I mean. Ah, oh, jeez, I'm digging a really big hole for myself today, haven't I? Uh, listen guys, um, what I mean is this is great flavour text. This little bit, just a little words here and there, robot bitch started laughing, saying if I was crippled, I mean, who would want to hear that? Uh, I could get augmented like her. That's, that's, that's really nice. That kind of shows, it gives us a little taste of the division between the augmented and the non-augmented. Um, I mean, you know, no man would like to be in a situation where he couldn't get it up and someone was laughing, but the way he talks about her being augmented and being a robot bitch, it's nice. It's not nice. Um, it's a ni nice bit of flavour text to let us know. Um, the division in the society, it's a lot, it's a lot nicer than, uh, um, you know, people calling us clank on the street. Uh, who was that from? Abrim. I don't think we've m met him yet, being in his apartment. I don't think so anyway. Right, and this one's open for some reason. Nice. 
Berserker has ever come close to breaching the Blade's defenses. The next three decades, a new Russia. In the short time since the AUG incident, the Russian Federated States have conglomerated into a formidable geopolitical entity. Huh. Trade pact overtures extended by them to the struggling EU have been accepted and their influence can also be seen in South and Central America. But can what many have described as nothing more than a blatant kleptocracy not only survive but flourish in the next 30 years? Kleptocracy, is that a little play on kleptomaniac? Is this... They're calling them a thieving state. While well, having already shown some influence in parts of Eastern Europe, we anticipate, given the continuing struggles of the United States and the social and cultural aftershocks stemming from the AUG incident, that the RFS will continue to make inroads in the Americas, mostly fueled by the drug trade. Mexico has already shown itself to be friendly to the burgeoning federation. This likely means an increase in US Russo antagonism in the near future at a time when the US can hardly afford it. Uh, are the Diwali's Russians? Are they not Georgian? Diwali's not a Georgian company. Uh, a Georgian organization. Georgia, the country, I mean, not Georgia, the American state. There's, there's the life stuff here. Do we have the Versa Life key card? But Jim Miller's TYM vault. No, we don't. Maybe we'll maybe we'll have a good look here. Maybe we can find it in here. We need that for getting into the corporate vault in the bank. Nice place, man. These these blues are actually quite nice. I don't know if you guys have ever read uh, an author called Terry Pratchett. Uh, he's a British author. Um, he has a series of books called uh, a series of books. Um, it's called the Discworld series. It's um, uh, it's about a. Uh, a, a, a a universe he's created, uh, or, a, or a world in the universe uh, called the Disc World. Um, it's it's a fantastic, fantastic series of books. Um, it's all quite sort of a parody on uh, on, on whatever on, on culture, parody on modern culture, and quite a lot of them. Uh, it's a great great set of books to read. Um, it's got got a nice. Uh, nice sense of humour to them. Um, fantastic characters. Uh, but what it reminds me of is um, the uh, uh, one of the characters in the book is Death. Uh, uh, Death. I think the first book he features in is a book called Mort. Um, Death takes on an apprentice called Mort, and uh, Death's Death's house sort of. I always picture a place like this, sort of a dark, dark grey sort of place. It's sort of bland of all colours. Death lives in a place that, like, he doesn't... Oh, it's complicated to explain, man. It's complicated to explain. Uh, read the books. If you're even vaguely interested, if you're looking for if you're looking for something to do, go and, go and pick up go and pick up one of the books. Yosef Krylov. Whoa. Let's just head straight there. We got two fives to get through, but I think we can do that. Fives take quite a while, but we'll get caught here. Anomaly but that's fine. This won't change. That's still a five. We got plenty of time, and that's not going to go up to a three. So, plenty of time. Access granted. What do we get? Credits. Fifty-five credits from Igor Zverev. Get smart. Yosef, your deposit was short again. I'm hoping you're just too stupid to count correctly and aren't skimming. Might be able to hide it this time, but sooner or later someone will start asking questions. Next time, you either get all the credits from the shops, or I tell Radich, 
Get smart, Yosef. This is the bad time to stick out. Okay. This is typical bad guy stuff. Yosef has a nice apartment. If he is skimming, he's doing a pretty good job at it. He's done well for himself. Alright, well that's that's everything, right? That's all six apartments we've seen. Let's get out and check the courtyard. Anything behind there? No. Shit. Oh, it's just her. That's fine. Whap. Oh, very cool. Very cool fishnets. Very cool. Alright, so this is like a hangout place, I guess. This takes us onto the street. That's not somewhere we want to be going right now. Not sure we want to explore this area yet. Let's continue exploring the red light district and uh, what's his name? This event. Uh, we'll find Stanek. Nomad. Do that first. I didn't go through the vent because I figured it would come out here and uh, I didn't want to bypass the hack and I've gone the wrong way, haven't I? Well, let's just do this. This is fine. Let's just do this. I think we have time. Access granted. What do we get? Overclock. Yeah, I figured the vent would come out here and I didn't want to, uh, yeah it does, I didn't want to avoid the hack. Czech Republic, that's a nice map. Lazy fucks man, not not stacking away their weight plates. It's really cool they got kettlebells here. Uh, when did this come out? 2015? Yeah, I mean the kettlebell was in full swing, get it? Kettlebell? Swing? Full swing? It's a pun? Play on words? Ugh. But yeah, up until, I think up until like the mid 2000s, the kettlebells were relatively unheard of in the West. Uh, they were used, used a lot by um, Eastern Europeans, I think the Russian especially, I think the Russian military used them a lot. Uh, it's really, uh, Pavel Sasolin is one of the guys responsible for uh, the, the, the uh, surge and the use of kettlebells in uh, Western Western training. Okay. Uh, well, there's no. This is the quickest route. Anomaly detected. No data stores. Trace program initiated. Access granted. So yeah, it's nice there being kettlebells here since this is uh, since we're in Eastern Europe. Dressing table, okay. Wonder if this person was involved in the theatre industry. Don't get involved in the theatre industry if anyone's thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. They're they're a great bunch of people, but it's they're very difficult to work with. Some of them, some of them are, put it that way. So, uh, you know, everywhere you go, everywhere you go, you're going to meet difficult people, aren't you? It's, it's an Avaris's first rule of group psychology. No matter how you want to split people up, you're going to find shitheads in every group. Alright, well, we've seen everything here. Let's not go out that way. How do we... How did we actually get in here? We got in through one of the windows. Uh, I believe it was this one. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yep. Let's go see where this takes us. I think I know where it's going to take us, but let's have a look anyway. 
Pray for my soul. Yeah, that's gonna just take us in the uh, in the uh, this two ladders. Might be more to this than I thought. Okay, where's the vent? Not the vent, where's the valve? Where's the valve? Alright. Let's uh Let's have a look. In here maybe? It's a five Jensen, let's be quick about this shall we? Quickly Jensen! Shit. Okay. Uh, I think we might be dead. That was probably a bad idea. Probably a bad idea. Let's try that again, shall we? If I was a valve, where would I be? One of those existential questions we've all thought to ourselves at some point or another, isn't it? If I was a valve, where would I be? Shit! Yeah, I have no idea where the valve is. Uh, I'm uh, not that bothered about finding it, to be honest. Right, that ladder is just that ladder there. The one that brings us down there. But there's not two ways out of this, there's only one way out of this. That's through there, along where we were going where the mines were. And up that way. That will bring us out at the uh, other side of the Red Queen. So I'll, I'm not too bothered about exploring this area. We'll explore it from the other side. Maybe the valve is on the other side. Once we're exploring that Diwali territory, we'll explore there. But I ain't too fussed about it right now. Yeah, I could spend another very, very long time looking for that, uh, looking for that valve and not find it. There. 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 There we are. Anomaly detected. Trace program access granted. Okay, what do we have? Nothing. Strange. Oh well. <laughs> oh. Wow. We actually stacked it on top of nothing. What did I say when we got over that bit? I think I said something like, finally the stacking worked as intended. Wonder if we can just use my favourite mechanic stack our way up here yes wow stacking worked great yeah maybe not maybe not don't believe it so we'll go and see uh like watching because shit out of each other. See if uh, Nomad. See if Nomad is in uh, the Irish stool. 
think I remember what you look like. Wait, you got the same tie on as the uh, guy in the apartment. Maybe he works in the uh, in this place. Sonic? No. This must be the happiest place on earth. Well, except for the occasional bomb going off. Oh yeah, the happiest place on earth. Yeah, absolutely. It says you sitting by yourself drinking. Yeah, if that's if that's how you get your pleasure, you know, go for it. Go for it. Welcome to the Irish stool, buddy. Pull one up and I will see what we can do for you. Irish stool. Catchy name. Very evocative. I like to think so. Well, what will it be? Nothing. A man named Nomad Stanick. Heard he might be in here. Yeah, you're not the first. Couple of Interpol agents asked me about him too. Huh. What did he do? Is he in trouble or something? I can't go into details about an ongoing investigation. Where did you say they were? Downstairs. Don't mess up the place, okay? By the way, you want anything? No, I do not. Not right now, thanks. I've got something to get to. So wait, so he said there's a couple of Interpol agents wanting to see him too. And Jensen says, where are they? Like, why, why does Jensen think the Interpol agents are still here? Are we going to go downstairs and see three people, Stanek and two Interpol agents? Because if so, I'm going to be pretty annoyed because there's no way, there's no way, from what the bartender told us, there's no way Jensen would automatically think the Interpol agents were still here with him. Hey, I'm a citizen. I have rights. Yep. You cannot me without charging me. This I know. And I know you're going to sit there quietly and wait with us like a good little watchmaker. I've got this, Agent Riley. You and your partner can relax for a few minutes. In the hands of Ipperson. Wait a minute. I know you. Why is there a tourist here? Shop. What is this? You have some things to answer for, Mr. Stanek. We have evidence linking you and your shop to the train station bombing. Bombing? No. I would never. I, I wouldn't even know where to start. You have the wrong man. Liar. Do I? Convince me. I have a timing device with your name on it, and I found the tools to make even more bombs in your apartment. What else am I supposed to think? But you've been to my shop. You know I fix watches. I don't make bombs. No, those tools aren't mine. They belong to my... Your daughter? Oh! No, no. look. Take me in. I'm the one you're looking for, not Oh, her. it's her. I have made bombs for them. I don't think so. Protecting your daughter is admirable, Mr. Stanek. But you're not doing her any good by taking the blame. You need to tell me what you know. I... You're right, I know. Allison was in the military. She always wanted to belong, to be part of something greater than herself. She was such a beautiful child, gifted. What happened? After the incident, she met some people. Ah. They said they were her friends, but I could see they only wanted to use her. Parasites, and, and now, now, they have taken her. You must help. She is not to blame for this. She has been coerced. She, she, she is mentally you ill. Taken her. Allison and I were supposed to meet here tonight. Instead, one of them came by spewing curses about fleshers and naturals. He gave me a message from her. She was... She was saying goodbye. She wouldn't do that. But she would never. They used her. And now they intend to make her disappear. Yeah, from the email that she left her father in the apartment, there's no way she would say goodbye. Right, tell us more about Allison. Does your daughter have the expertise to do this? Much more than I do. She was in the military. EOD, they called it. Explosive Ordnance Disposal. Oh, shit. The bomb squad. Yes. She was happy in the military. They augmented her, rebuilt her to make her better at what she did, but 
After the incident, she was dishonorably discharged. She was lost. That's when these new friends found her. Ugh. They exploited her, and now they plan to discard her. Right. We need to talk about how ridiculous this is. That they're interrogating this guy uh, in the bar. Why aren't they bringing him into an interrogation room where, you know, a agents are trained in interrogation? Um, part, part of what makes interrogation successful is that um, uh, someone someone brought into an interrogation room is under a lot of stress and pressure already and it's a lot easier to uh, exploit that stress and get a handle on what this person is actually thinking. So why they're doing it here I have no bloody idea. And let's just talk for a minute about how stupid the people are in the background. This, this you know, this is some kind of national threat terrorism organization here interviewing this guy about you know national secrets with a couple of tourists sitting eavesdropping in the background like what the what is this man what do you know about these friends of hers other than they were augmented not much they only spoke to Allison when they came to the shop as if anyone unaugmented was beneath them they kept talking about the ascension Whatever that is. Oh, this is the machine god, isn't it? No way. Your apartment was booby trapped by Radich Nikoladze. What? Why would he? I guess friendship means nothing to a thug. What happened? I was never a wealthy man, but my shop is well known and respected. Reddish liked my watches. He knew I needed money after what happened to Allison. So we strike a deal. Okay. But deals are like beautiful women to that man. A better one always comes around. So why did he throw you under a bus? Why was he so worried about these people Allison has been involved with? Why is he so worried about the I'm guessing it's the machine god? They were talking about the ascension, weren't they? Uh, the cult. Why is Radich so worried about her working with them? Or is he worried about her working with bombers? So maybe, maybe, uh, may maybe the, the bombing isn't about, maybe it wasn't Cerberus. You know, the guy guarding the gates of hell, was it Victor Marchenko? Maybe this is, uh, maybe he's part of the church. Okay, this, this maybe actually could get pretty interesting. Where can I find Allison, Mr. Stanek? I wish I knew. I would go and get her away from those people. I was about to go looking for her when your goon showed up. We'll find her. I need you to go with these agents. I'll have some more questions for you. No! I have to go! I have to help her! She's... She's all I have! That's his daughter. Please, let us do our job. Find my daughter! Or I will find my door or I will <laughs> Smiley, I spoke to Stanek. He's not our guy, but he has a daughter. Allison. Ex military EOD. She might be the bomb maker. So what's our next move? Stanek says he doesn't know where she is, but I think he's hiding something. The agents are bringing him in. Until he gives her up, this investigation is stalled. I'll make sure they lean on him. See what he knows. Good. Let me know what happens. Did I see Nomad Stanek getting Not taken away by some kind of authority types? And in the yeah, US, stupid. Millions of There's no way he did anything. He's the personification of the sweet and caring old man. What? I hear he used to be some kind of anti-New World Order activist. Maybe he's past caught up with him. You've never seen his daughter, have you? She's a real piece of work. I'll bet you anything she got involved in something and the stick rubbed off on him. Oh shit. This is ridiculous, man. Why would these... Why, why do these tourists know so much about Nomad Stanek, his background and his daughter? They are tourists, Another right? Damn clank. Locals don't wear backpacks when they go to their local bar because, you know, they're only about... Yeah, they're, they're never more than like an hour away for, from their home. 
Why do these tourists so know so so know much about this place? Why do they know who know who Nomad Stanek is? How did they manage to hear that he was some kind of New World Order activists? This is ridiculous, man. This is absolutely ridiculous. What do you think? Guess they don't call it the Red Light District for nothing. Wonderful. Guess they don't. People know what red light district means. It's not like that's an ambiguous phrase. Guess they don't call it the shopping centre for nothing. Jesus, man, the writing in this game. The beer here is fine. A traditional pilsner. Well... I, I imagine it's quite rare. Oh no, it's not, it's not that rare. I suppose a lot... A lot of chains have make their own beer. Whiskey, am I right? Is there anything I can get you? Nah. I've got everything I need. Everyone should be so lucky. What can I get you? Yeah, I've got everything I need. What can I get you? Good fucking trench coat.